Hey everyone online, welcome CCLG family. Uh, this is Pastor Will, this is our weekly update. Uh, we've been doing since the very beginning. In fact, this is week six of our online video updates. And so uh, I've been praying for you, your family. I hope that you're doing well. Um, hope that everybody is remaining healthy, that you're finding new routines in this uh, new normal that we're all living in. And so if you're having to be uh, self-quarantined, those of you that are still uh, able to continue to work, uh, we're just praying for your safety and praying for all those that are uh, continuing to uh, work and serve on the front lines, whether you're a doctor, a nurse, a grocery store worker, uh, mail uh, delivery, whatever uh, service that you're providing, uh, work that you're doing, we're praying for you and your safety. Um, you know, one of the things I've been doing is I've been trying to figure out new routines and uh, kind of getting into God's word a little bit uh, this week. I um, was reminded of some scripture and, and I wanted to share that with you as we just kind of begin our weekly update. And, and that is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, uh, verses 16 through 18. Some of you will be very familiar with this um, and others of you, hopefully it'll be some encouraging to you today. But um, this is something God just kind of spoke to my heart this week and I want to share with you. Um, but it says, rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus and uh, man that just really spoke to my heart this week uh, because of all the things that we're going through and the things many of you are up against and um, uh, just th those three urgings by the Apostle Paul to uh, Christians and to the church to rejoice always to pray continually and to give thanks in all circumstances I mean that's uh, just such a rich word and and I know uh, it may seem you know for some of us that are going through difficult times very very hard to give thanks in all circumstances but uh, just know that God is with you that he's not gonna leave you that this will come to pass and um, we can give thanks in all circumstances speaking of thanks man I wanted to just spend uh, some time this week uh, giving a lot of thanks because we have a lot to be thankful for a lot of you to be thanking and uh, first of all I just want to thank you for staying connected with us uh, we know that all these things that are going on and we're all trying to find this new normal I knew for our home and our household uh, you know trying to figure out you know both of our kids schedules and get them going to school and, and my wife Jamie and I are we're, we're still trying to work and do things from home as well as occasionally uh, go to the office and so we get it man it's hard and uh, for those of you that have stayed connected with us man I can't tell you how much I appreciate that so thank you so very much uh, not only that, but I would also say thanks for uh, continuing to watch on Sundays, uh, tuning in to our YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you that uh, have uh, subscribed there, um, also for those of you that are sharing that through Facebook and other social media platforms, man, we're just so thankful for you, uh, you know, joining us, commenting, uh, letting us know, you know, who you are and, and checking in. Uh, some of you have been uh, filling out and uh, uh, some of our online forms. Uh, so I want to thank you for doing that as well. Uh, we created a, a COVID-19 response form, and many of you have filled that out for us, and we're so thankful because that's just our way of continually trying to figure out how we can better serve, uh, how we can be uh, better uh, um, an outreach to our community as well as serve you uh, that are part of our church family. Um, many of you have also been filling out our connection cards, our online connection cards, and I want to say thank you for doing that as well. You can access all of our forms online, cclg.org. Uh, go to our forms page. You can access all of those things there. And uh, so, I, again, I just want to thank you for doing that. Thank you also for those of you that have been sticking around um, on Sunday mornings at the end of our service at 1130. We've been hosting hospitality rooms for the last couple weeks, and that's been really cool. I mean, because we can't really get together in person right now and may not be able to do it for some time. So we've been doing these hospitality rooms, uh, the Zoom meetings, um, each and every uh, Sunday at 1130. And so uh, if you'd like to get more involved in that, please do. Uh, we post uh, those uh, meeting um, locations both on, on our Sunday morning uh, uh, experience as well as um, in the comment section uh, if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, wherever that is. And so you can get all that plus in our weekly update. Um, I also want to thank you guys for the, those of you that have been attending our midweek Bible studies. Uh, man, it's been exciting to see those things grow and uh, see new faces and people that uh, uh, maybe you were disconnected before but are finding a way to connect online right now thanks for doing that 
Um, also, uh, for those of you that have been calling on uh, people in the church and calling on other people and neighbors and friends, and, and really this organic form of shepherding, man, has been awesome to hear about and to see. And um, uh, we, we've been able to find out needs that people have through that. And I just want to say thank you so very much for continuing that support. Um, also for posting on our prayer wall. Um, for those of you that have been a part of our uh, you know, uh, church mobile app for a, a while now, you know we have a, a prayer wall on there. That, that's one of our ways that we're continuing to stay in touch and connected and praying for one another. And so we encourage you to continue to do that. Um, and, and I would also say this, continuing to follow uh, and, and to serve and to partner together in ministry. That's been such a cool thing. Chris Weeks, our youth pastor, for example, um, he's been doing uh, our, our midweek uh, youth ministry meetings uh, at, through our Zoom platform as well. And um, this last week uh, came up with a, a stay-at-home mission trip that was so cool. And every day they had different service projects that uh, he challenged our kids to do. And that was just awesome to see uh, because we're thinking of all these new creative ways that we can continue to serve and reach out and be the body of Christ in the midst of these very uncertain times. Um, I, I want to share some more because uh, so, so much good stuff is happening. Um, I want to shout out to our so-and-so gals. Uh, they have... Uh, also, just been really uh, finding ways to continue to serve and to reach out. Um, you know, before those of you that may recognize or remember, they uh, sewed uh, prayer uh, blankets for people that were in need, and they would, we would, you know, pray over those blankets and then give them to the people that were, um, you know, going through difficult times. And now uh, there's a big need for for facial masks. You know, as you just saw, uh, there was a mandate that just passed out. Uh, this week starting on May 1st that everyone has to wear a face mask out in public and that's not just for uh, those that are on the front line like nurses and doctors but this is everyone and so our so-and-so ministry uh, and, and, and I know I'm, I'll miss some and if I do miss you I'm so sorry but uh, you know Nancy Gardner um, you know Leanne Keller Jackie uh, uh, Gagney uh, Carmen um, uh, uh, Jean Huffmacher Tracy Puddle um, you know uh, Deanna Austin I mean all, all of you have been coming together and sewing and making these masks and giving them uh, to uh, different charitable organizations. That's awesome. And uh, I've been seeing uh, other ways that people are saying, well, I can't sew, but I can do this. And so they've been giving uh, and supporting that ministry effort. I just think it's awesome. Um, I, I, another uh, thing, just a shout out to our online Bible study leaders, uh, Sheila Lewis, um, Scott Miller. You guys have been doing such a great job. Uh, you know, trying to figure out how we do this effectively and continue to make disciples. And I just want to say thank you so much for all your efforts in doing that. Um, I'm excited to say that starting this Sunday, we're actually going to be doing a, uh, a Sunday school uh, Zoom meeting for our kids, um, our grade school age kids. And so uh, we're going to be doing a trial run this Sunday and then a couple Sundays inviting all of the kids uh, connected to CCLG. And even if you're not connected to CCLG, but you're wanting to get some uh, some some enriching biblical experience for your kids. We're going to start doing that at 9:30 uh, a.m. And so I'm really excited about that. Thank you again, Deanna Austin, uh, for being a great leader and volunteering to do that. Um, I also want to just say, you know, because I've been watching a lot of different creative efforts online uh, through social media and other platforms, and uh, one of our church members, uh, Gloria Mendoza, had started a a group uh, online through Facebook. And uh, it, it, it's called Blessed Wow and Elevated Warriors. And essentially what she's doing through that is just giving out constant spiritual encouragement on a daily basis. And uh, I joined that group and I'm so thankful for it. And so uh, I just wanna say thank you for doing that, Gloria. Uh, I know that many of you um, have other things that you're doing and, and maybe they just kind of have flown under my radar. Please reach out to me, let me know what those things are. You can uh, email me. Um, through our website cclg.org or you can email me personally at will.warren uh, at cclg.org and so I'd love to hear more about ways that God has inspired you to continue uh, to, to serve, to give, to show your generosity. And speaking of which, I know there's been a few people have been asking, you know, how can I do that? How can I continue to, to, to worship through giving and how can I continue to show my generosity through uh, all these different ministry efforts and not only these things but other things. I mean we are as a church continuing to give uh, to our missions, our world missions, our local missions and um, uh, no matter 
what has come our way during this time, we want to continue uh, those efforts. And, and not only that, but we've been trying to reach out uh, to help uh, people through benevolence. And so you can actually give uh, directly to those things through our um, uh, different giving platforms, whether it's our church app, through our online uh, uh, our website, cclg.org. You can also uh, text to give or uh, you can um, actually drop off your gift uh, at the church and just all you got to do is, is put it in the envelope, let us know what it's for and we'll try to, our best to make sure that we get it in those uh, places. And, um, and so uh, just, just a last word of encouragement is continue to use the resources that we have uh, through our church. I know many of you have been uh, using uh, different Bible apps to encourage one another. Uh, version. I know there's a few uh, of our church leaders that are using that. Um, also, Right Now Media. I mean, it's been such a great resource during this time. And, and invite your friends, invite your neighbors to also do that and join in on uh, maybe a Bible study that you would like to start or one that we already have going. And you can use those different platforms to do that. So, uh, hey, once again, thank you so much. Uh, for staying connected with us. Man, we love you. We're praying for you. Let us know how we can continue to support you uh, in, in any way that we can. I'm looking forward to tomorrow morning and worshiping together. We're actually wrapping up our series that we've been doing from the ashes. And we're going to be talking about what it means right now uh, through all these things that God has allowed us to do, man, this renewal, this resting. Uh, you know, last week we talked about the, the remembering part, uh, the restoration that God is doing, the rescuing that God is doing. So, so now God has got us to this point that we are ready, uh, ready for something that God is going to do next. And so I'm excited about that. I'm excited to share with you uh, tomorrow and worship together. Uh, God bless you. I pray that you have a great week and we'll see you again soon.